Welcome to Triumph Inside. This time we will discuss Apple. If you're a tech enthusiast, then you absolutely need to hear this. In the heart of Silicon Valley, a groundbreaking revolution was brewing. Two young visionaries Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak dared to dream differently and think outside the box. Armed with a passion for technology and an unwavering belief in their abilities, they embarked on a journey that would change the world forever. Their workshop, a humble garage filled with dreams, their tools, soldering irons and youthful enthusiasm combined with sheer determination, their first product, the Apple One, a kit computer that ignited the imaginations of hobbyists and sparked a technological revolution. The year was 1976, and little did they know their creation would become a cornerstone in the history of personal computing. The early days were a whirlwind of challenges and obstacles, limited resources, technical hurdles, and the daunting task of establishing a foothold in a nascent industry tested their resolve to the limit. But the two Steves, fueled by their shared vision, persevered, driven by an unshakable belief in the transformative power of their creations. Stay with us as we explore the incredible journey of Apple, from its humble beginnings to its groundbreaking innovations. You won't want to miss a single moment of this revolutionary story. The Apple II, launched in 1977, catapulted the fledgling company to new heights. User-friendly and boasting color graphics, it transformed the computer from a hobbyist's toy into a household appliance. Schools and businesses embraced it, propelling Apple to the forefront of the personal computer revolution. This success wasn't just about technical prowess. Jobs, with his keen sense of design and marketing, understood the importance of making technology accessible and aesthetically appealing. The Apple II wasn't just a machine, it was a statement, an invitation to a world where technology could be both powerful and beautiful. The Apple II marked a turning point, proving that user-centric design and a focus on the user experience were as crucial as technical brilliance. It laid the foundation for Apple's future success and established a blueprint for innovation that would inspire generations to come. The Macintosh, unveiled in 1984, was more than just a new computer, it was a paradigm shift. Inspired by a visit to Xerox PARC, Jobs saw the future in a graphical user interface. The Macintosh, with its iconic mouse and intuitive interface, democratized computing. However, the development was fraught with challenges, internal conflicts, ambitious deadlines, and creating a revolutionary product pushed the team to its limits. Jobs, known for his demanding leadership style, pushed his team hard, demanding perfection. The launch of the Macintosh, immortalized in Ridley Scott's iconic 1984 commercial, was a cultural moment. It announced a new era in computing, where technology was about human connection and creativity. Share the video and subscribe to Triumph Inside channel for more fascinating tech stories. The story of Apple isn't without its share of setbacks. Internal conflicts and market pressures led to Jobs' departure from the company he co-founded in 1985. It was a period of uncertainty for Apple, as the company struggled to find its footing without its visionary leader. Jobs, meanwhile, didn't stand still. He founded Next, a computer company that, while commercially unsuccessful, would prove pivotal in his eventual return to Apple. During his time away, Jobs honed his leadership skills, gained valuable experience, and nurtured the seeds of innovation that would later blossom at Apple. In a remarkable turn of events, Apple, struggling to regain its footing, acquired Next in 1997, paving the way for Jobs' return. This marked the beginning of one of the most remarkable comeback stories in corporate history, a testament to the enduring power of vision, resilience, and the courage to start again. Upon his return, Jobs found Apple in dire straits. The company, once a leader in innovation, was losing ground to competitors, its product line stale and uninspired. Recognizing the need for a bold move, Jobs set out to revitalize Apple's DNA, to recapture the spirit of innovation and design that had defined its early years. The result was the iMac, a revolutionary all-in-one computer that dared to be different. Launched in 1998, the iMac, with its translucent case and vibrant colors, was a radical departure from the beige boxes that dominated the PC market. It was a statement, a declaration that Apple was back and ready to challenge the status quo. 
The iMac was an instant success, capturing the imagination of consumers and signaling a resurgence for Apple. It proved that innovation wasn't just about technology, it was about understanding the desires and aspirations of users, about creating products that were both functional and emotionally resonant. The dawn of the new millennium saw the rise of digital music, but the experience was fragmented and cumbersome for many users. Recognizing an opportunity, Jobs envisioned a world where music lovers could carry their entire music library in their pocket, seamlessly accessing and enjoying their favorite tracks anytime, anywhere. The iPod, launched in 2001, was more than just a digital music player, it was a cultural phenomenon that changed the music industry. With its sleek design, intuitive interface, and the revolutionary click wheel, the iPod redefined how we consume and interact with music. It wasn't just a device, it was a companion, a gateway to a world of music at your fingertips, always ready to entertain. The iPod's success wasn't just about the device itself, it was about the ecosystem Apple built around it, enhancing user experience. iTunes, Apple's digital music store, provided a legal and user-friendly way to download music, seamlessly integrating with the iPod, and creating a complete music experience for users. If you enjoyed this journey through Apple's innovation, share the video and subscribe to Triumph Inside channel for more fascinating stories and insights. In 2007, Apple redefined technology with the iPhone launch. Jobs unveiled a device combining a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator. The iPhone's multi-touch interface and sleek design made it a pocket-sized computer. Developed in secrecy, it showcased Apple's commitment to surprise and delight. Jobs pushed his team to create a technologically advanced and intuitive device. The iPhone's impact was seismic, transforming communication and interaction with the world. The iPhone's success wasn't just about the hardware, it was about the vibrant ecosystem of apps that blossomed around it. Recognizing the potential for developers to create innovative and engaging experiences, Apple launched the App Store in 2008, a digital marketplace that allowed developers to distribute their apps directly to iPhone users. The App Store democratized software development, providing a platform for both large companies and independent developers to reach a global audience. It unleashed a wave of creativity, with developers creating apps that entertained, educated, and connected people in unprecedented ways. From games to productivity tools, social media platforms to on-demand services, the App Store became an indispensable part of the iPhone experience. The App Store wasn't just a distribution platform, it was a catalyst for economic growth, creating a new industry and empowering developers to build successful businesses. It exemplified Apple's commitment to fostering a thriving ecosystem around its products, a key ingredient in its continued success and innovation. Apple's journey didn't end with the iPhone. The company continued to innovate, expanding its product line to include the iPad, a revolutionary tablet computer that redefined mobile computing, and the Apple Watch, a wearable device that seamlessly integrated technology into our lives. Apple's success stemmed from its ability to create a cohesive ecosystem of products and services. From hardware to software, operating systems to cloud services, Apple's products worked seamlessly together, providing a user experience that was both intuitive and delightful. This ecosystem approach, coupled with Apple's unwavering commitment to design and user experience, created a loyal customer base that eagerly anticipated each new product release. Apple's journey is a testament to the power of continuous innovation, the importance of building a strong brand, and the enduring value of a customer-centric approach. Share the video and subscribe to Triumph Inside channel for more insights into the world of technology and innovation. From a humble garage to a global tech titan, Apple's journey is a testament to vision and innovation. It's an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs, showing that ambitious dreams can be realized with passion and hard work. Apple's legacy extends beyond its products. It lies in pushing boundaries and creating products that enhance our lives. Every great journey begins with a single step, a spark of an idea. Take that first bite, embrace the unknown, and dare to change the world. Watch another Triumph Story video in Triumph Inside channel. Let inspiration guide your journey.